So, Tim, what do you think of Gone Girl? <laughs> I haven't seen Gone Girl. Well, what do you think it will be? It'll be alright. It'll just be some movie about this. I don't know. It'll just be a standard who done it, whether Dick What's His Face done it or someone else. And they're your options. They look options. very good, but that'll be it. Are you looking forward to Batflex Willy? No. <laughs> No, I'm pretty ambivalent about Patrick Willie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, this is the first time we've been in the same country since starting up science fiction double feature. I need to wash my hair. Yes, and I'm looking quite shabby myself. Well, I think it's going to be pretty good. I like Fincher. Do you? How many Fincher movies have you seen? Three. What are they? <laughs> Uh, Zodiac and Fight Club, and this one after. Okay, so Actually, three, including seen, the one you haven't no, seen. No, I think I've seen more. Okay. There's something else that he used. Either way, they're good. Okay. <sighs> we'll be back. There it goes. There it goes. So we saw Gone Girl. Yeah, we did. What, what did you think of Gone Girl? I really enjoyed it, for the most part. What did you not like about it? Well, let's talk about what I did like about okay, it. Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's, let's, do go, that. We, let's start positively. Okay. Um, I really like the story. Very interesting story and suspenseful. Um, I liked the, all the little twists and turns they had in it. Yeah. I did, because they, they threw me. I didn't see them coming, and I quite enjoyed that. Um, what else did I like about it? I liked Rosamund Pike. She did a great job. She reminded me exactly of what your first wife would be. <laughs> yes, thank you. Kind of, yeah. Deidre, if you're watching, <laughs> you're a bitch. Um, and overly, it was just a very suspenseful, entertaining movie. Mm. But what I didn't like was how long it was. and the, It was meant to be a slow burn. Like, it was a slow burn all the way through. But it was too slow for me. It was dropping like little hints all along the way, which was good. But it was just too slow and too long. So that, that's my only negative, that it was just too long. Okay. Do, do I go down? Oh, if you want. I didn't care about anyone in the movie. Uh, it just, none of the characters were particularly interesting um, or sympathetic at all. So even though, like, it does have the elements of suspense it doesn't work for me and like and yeah it is very long as well it doesn't work for me it didn't work for me because i didn't care what was happening at all i thought they were interesting i thought the performances were interesting i thought the cinematography was interesting but i just didn't care what was happening it was just a bunch of stuff on the screen in a specific order basically ultimately and it was about rich people and i don't care about rich people Besides the rich people fact, do you think you didn't care about them because both the main characters, like Ben Affleck and Rosamund Pike, they were, throughout the movie they were both perceived as um, victims and villains? It was more than that. Like, so I, you, you couldn't actually get... It was more than that. Like It wasn't just that they were... like You can have an unsympathetic protagonist in stories and it can work, but it didn't work in this because I just didn't particularly find them relatable like I, I just didn't care about I didn't Rosamund Pike well what's her name Amy Dunn yeah. um I didn't care like, <laughs> like that she was kind of an awful person I didn't care that he was kind of an awful person because they weren't interesting at all um I didn't particularly believe their story they just seemed like awful people doing awful things to each other um so yeah, that was basically it. That's my, that was my opinion, or that was my overall opinion. Um, most of the other stuff I found interesting was the performances, because uh, I thought they were generally quite good, even though they weren't, even though the cast weren't really working with things. I thought they were generally consistently good. Um, they just weren't playing characters that were particularly interesting. I thought Rosamund Pike was very good. Yeah, she like, could have. Yeah, if that character she yeah. w- did very well in the. In if it. that character had been developed, she would have been great. It just, I didn't find it particularly, like, I don't, yeah, she could have been great in the good version of that character. She just, it just wasn't much to work with for her. Same well, with Ben Affleck, like, he could have been great, but it just... While we're on the subject of characters, um, Neil Patrick Harris, I liked how 
he was like this really really creepy guy but then he ended up being the less messed up one out of a lot of them he's well i don't know if that's but, true i don't know if he's I, the I, least I thought, messed up yeah i thought he's his story might have been developed a lot more than what it was. It was interesting to me, like, I don't, again, I don't think there was much to work with that character, but as his role to move away from Barney in How I Met Your Mother, to move away from that sort of uber jock guy, was quite interesting as a choice to sort of play the antithesis of Barney. The creepy side of that kind of mm. a person who was obsessed with women was quite an interesting. Again, I think it was a character we didn't really see enough of. It wasn't much for him to work with, but I still think it was... It showed his range as a performer um, to the extent that, it, that that character could. I think so. I think it was quite an interesting role from him, given what it was doing for his career. I thought that was quite good. Well, interesting. I don't know if it's out my good, but it was certainly an interesting choice for him to make. All right. Well, that's our review of Gone Girl. What would you give it out of ten, Tim? I'd give it about. Uh, I'd only give it a five because I know other people have liked it. I. Basically, like, it's worth finding out for yourself if you've got the 145 minutes. Because, um, yeah, Fincher has a history of doing interesting things, and it is there's definitely potential, because it is sort of about different fictions that people create for themselves, and Ben Affleck's character is torn between the fictions of the media I want to create around this husband and what Amy Dunn wants to create of him. So it is interesting. It could have been a really good movie. And it's worth seeing to see what it could have been, at least, even if you don't like it like I didn't. If you did like it, well, it's a good movie, I guess. It's just 145 minutes long. Um, so just set aside an afternoon, get a muffin afterwards, you'll be fine. <laughs> In my particular fashion, if I pick or flick it, I'm going to pick it and give it a 7.5 out of 10. I thought it was overall really good. It was just very long. And a few of the times, like, we were watching and it was, like, really long and drawn out. And then the twist happened. I'm like, oh, okay, so this is where it's going to finish. Yeah, it felt like it and was going to end about it just three kept times. Going. And it just it, kept going. It, it was a bit like um, Return of the King. How yeah. It just had like three different endings. Except that it, it, was, it wasn't just endings. It was like it was a different yeah, it was just the story. And you felt like it would be the end of the story, but it was just the start of a new act. Yeah. But besides the length of, length of it, I was um, pretty happy with it. I wonder if it would be good if you stopped watching at one of those points. Like, if you're just like, this is enough. I reckon it would. It would after probably the, be quite snappy. After that first twist. Yeah. After that first twist. Yeah, maybe just turn the movie you off. finish that yeah. off there. And go and get some ice cream or something. And it'd be sweet. Yeah. Or maybe bring it back for a sequel. Yes. <laughs> just, yeah, divide it up yourself. And it'd be... <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. There are different ways to watch Gone Girl. If you want to watch Gone Girl. Not necessarily the one you see at the cinema. Um, okay. So, cool. So, we've... Yeah. See so Gone, Gone Girl, Girl or don't. Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, well, this was our very first joint review, as it's the first time we've been in the country since February. Yes. Since the start of Science Fiction Double Feature. Which was in June or something, yeah. It was in February. Was it? It was in February. Okay. We did in February. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. Keep yep. what reading We're off to watch Tusk now Yeah, yeah whatever Sydney. that is. I'm so... Gonna, I'm going to go to the comic book shop. He's going to be a review coming about some guy getting turned into a walrus. Right. Bye. Bye. Do this button. Is it this button? Yeah, push that button. While we have your attention, check the description and you'll find the links to our Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter to see all of our reviews and writings and thoughts and this and that and anything to add? No. No? That's good. So check the links, like us, share us, do all that sort of stuff.